day the ship got brought in, um, me and my cousin, another friend, ended up climbing up a tree and so we could watch the ship being put in place and stuff like that. And of course, that was June 15th, uh, 1975. And I didn't realize at the time that four months later, I'd be working aboard. David Clark truly is a pioneer for Patriots Point. He was the first artist out here that drew all the artwork inside the Medal of Honor. David and his father did the mural of the, on the Smoky Stover. With his unique art style, and his love of history, he has impacted the ship more than any other employee at Patriots Point. Working at any place for over 40 years is incredible. After a little over 41 and a half years, David is retiring and we will definitely miss him. For the past 41 years, has had a love for this ship like I've seen very few others have. I was playing in a band at the time uh, and, and, and doing well and I had this desire to, to have a race car. And race car was one of his biggest, biggest games that he ever did, you know. Here I'm, you know, 19 years old at the time. I'm gonna need a day job as well. And my oldest brother had already been working Patriots Point, getting the tour routes and stuff ready. And they were hiring some additional people, so I worked in the tour route restoration crew. Scraping out in the old paint. Of course, the hangar bay uh, was open as well, but I think we only had about three or four aircraft in the hangar bay and maybe another three or four in the flight deck. A lot of open and barren space in the early days. Tour route did include uh, going up to the flight deck, and actually the way you come down for the flight deck 40-something years later is the same. That part's unchanged, but... You think about 40 years out here, that's a lot of years. He was the, one of the first artists out here that put drew all the artwork inside the Medal of Honor. Then he became the supervisor over the aircraft department. That's when him and I got into the work on some of the airplanes. And one of the first airplane I ever painted was the B-25. And during those years, he's done everything that you could imagine from painting, to exhibits, to stories, to curating. He was curator of aircraft maintain the aircraft and then he got into exhibits. We've had aircraft kind of arrive in a lot of different ways. Uh, some of the first ones were brought aboard by uh, um, the called Sky Crate. It lifted some of the aircraft and spotted on the flight deck. Taking whatever we could get when we could get it in, in the beginning. And of course, most of those aircraft we still had to this day. Going to David's a lot quicker than going to Google for anything. You're, you're going to get better, cleaner, quicker information from him. A lot of times there would be questions that we had to get uh, answered. And David Clark was always the source for those answers. He would research them and find out the information we needed. It's always impressed me how he's managed to retain all the information about all the exhibits, about the depth of knowledge he has of the Yorktown, of the Laffey. He has forgotten more than I'll ever learn. Mr. History of the Yorktown, he knew everything about it. He was here from day one. He knows everything. We used to call him Big Lou, because he was huge. He actually did look like Hercules from, from back in the days. I have to consider him as my, one of my best friends. He still owe me money, but he's still one of my best friends out here. Out of the 41 years that David's been here at Patriots Point is that he has truly, truly put his thumbprint on every aspect of uh, Patriots Point, the Yorktown, the USS Laffey. Over 25 years together, we worked together. And I'm, I'm sure I'm really gonna miss him. And he will be greatly missed.